There were... Huh? Hello everybody, welcome back, and if you're new, my name is Emily, and today we're going to do a monthly reset because I really, really, really need this. I've been off of my reset game lately, and it's definitely showed in my brain and in my physical space. It's just, it's just been a jumbled mess, especially in the last, like, week. So I really just need to refresh, reset my brain, and just move on with whatever has happened. <laughs> if you guys are new, hello and welcome. My name is Emily, and I do college product activity, lifestyle type of content, as well as hygiene, bath and body work, self-care type of stuff. So you're into any of that at all, definitely click that subscribe button. I would love to have you join my little family here. We just hit 450 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a later part of the video. But basically today we're going to do a pretty straightforward reset. We're going to be doing some cleaning. As you can see, my bed need some love. <laughs> I'm going to strip my bed. That's pretty much all that I'm going to be cleaning because I'm so lucky that my uncle who is retired and bored a lot of the time will come once a week and just vacuum the whole house. So I don't need to do any of that. I've done the dusting so we just really need to worry about the bed for the cleaning part of this video and then the rest of it will be like planning, goal setting, type of things like that. So let's go ahead and strip my bed. stripped and ready to go to get washed so now I'm going to do a monthly reflection before I start planning my goals and habits and things like that for next month for June so this is my monthly reflection template that I found on Pinterest I don't really know if I have the original template but I'll do my best to link it in the description because it's really really helpful I did do some edits to it so I made it so that it was like its own template and everything was sort of in this toggle so I'm gonna go into the May toggle thing here I'm just gonna go through all of the bullet points within this template. This first section is one word to describe this month and I would say that my one word would be gratefulness or just grateful in general and you'll see why in a minute because a lot of cool things have happened but there's a lot of things that have happened like within my social circle that I'm like I should feel grateful for them that they're able to do these things and not feel like oh I should be doing that. I don't really know if that makes sense. It made sense in my brain. But anyways, that's gonna be my one word for the month. This next section is sort of a memorable moment section. So the person said highlights, things you're proud of, or anything you want to remember. I sort of segmented this into a highs and lows section of the month. Keegan Acton does this, and I think it's really helpful and insightful. I had more highs than lows, which is really cool, but the lows are a little bit heavy, or at least in my brain, they're a little heavy on me. So the highs were that I got to stay on my internship. If you are new here, you probably didn't know this, but throughout the last spring semester, I was interning remotely, and they decided to keep me on until the end of the year, and they're willing to work with my school because... They're willing to work with my school schedule and other things like that. So that's really, really cool. I'm really grateful for them. Again, grateful. Another part to this that I put in a separate bullet is the fact that my company does this national convention every year and they pick a different city for it. And this year they're going to Nashville. And I thought that I wouldn't be able to go but they were able to approve me to go to Nashville and they just dropped the news on me a couple days ago and I'm still riding that high and just like, wow, they really, really, really like me apparently. So that's really cool. I get to go to Nashville. So it's gonna be mostly a work trip, but there will be a couple nights where we'll be able to do whatever. So I'm gonna try and do a travel vlog. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe it'll be confidential and I won't be able to, but I'm gonna try and at least do like a travel prep vlog or traveling vlog. Another high, obviously I finished my junior year of college. I almost said of high school, but I finished my junior year of college, so now I'm in my last year of school ever. I don't know how to feel about it, but I'm going to call it a high because I finished my junior year of college, and that's saying something, so that's pretty cool. Another thing is that my freshman year roommate, who I'm still very, very close friends with, is doing an internship for her major. We're in the same major, and she's doing her second internship in my hometown, which is really cool. So I get to see her a lot more than I usually would, which is really cool because she's from Charleston, and I'm from North Carolina. I'm not going to say my hometown name because 
that's a little too niche for the internet right now. But she's doing an internship here, so I get to see her a whole bunch, which is really cool. I also have on here, at least when I made this, I said hitting 440 subscribers. But as of today, we have hit 450. So that's really cool. I'm really, really, really excited about that. That's probably the biggest thing that's happened this month is my channel is finally starting to grow. It's been doing like this stagnant line where it's doing a little bit of this. I had one video go up. I think it was my makeup declutter video that like went semi-viral and has like 700 views now. It's viral for my channel which is cool but that video got me like 15 subscribers so that's really cool if you're from that video let me know and i would love to know about that because you guys are really really nice and i'm just so grateful for you guys like i said this is a grateful month so the last thing in this high section is the fact that i got to see my cousin from connecticut her sister my other cousin is doing a national track competition in florida and i was like the halfway point so she came and visited for a few days which was really cool I don't normally get to see here at this time of year so I got to see her some lows for the month I have three lows on here the one that's sort of like is it a problem is it not I don't know it was having my hard drive break on me my hard drive is basically where all of my YouTube things lived so my intro and outro videos all of my little music things all of my little graphics that pop up like up here they were all just wiped not wiped I just don't have access to them anymore because my hard drive fell out of my computer as I was moving it to, from one room to another and it fell straight on its head which they call a head crash and it started making like the beeping sound that nobody with a hard drive wants to hear and so thankfully it's on warranty I've only had it for a year so they're going to send me a replacement and I'm going to send my hard drive to them so that they can recover what they can so that's really cool I don't have to pay for it but it's still really annoying because I basically have to start from scratch so after this video and pretty much during this video as I'm filming this, I'm also filming another thing where I'm going to be doing basically an unintentional intentional rebrand of my channel because all of my little like graphics and things are like gone. I don't have access to them. So I guess it's an omen that it, something needs to change. So we're going to change it. <laughs> but that was one low of the month that happened a couple days ago and it gave me so much anxiety. I felt the anxiety the whole day. I was just like so tense and I felt my face like getting super red and my heart was like beating, 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 beating and nothing should give me that much anxiety, especially something like that. This is not even my job. I don't know why I was so stressed, but the fact that this is something that I've poured my heart and soul into for a year and a half now, and having all of my stuff just go down the drain, it was really, really hard to cope with. <laughs> so that actually happened yesterday, which is really sad. Another low that I have is my mindset has just been so negative lately, and I think a lot of it has to do with my mindless scrolling. I've gotten better about it, especially in the last month since I've been living here at home and not at school because I have other things to do and people to see and I get to see my family, but also my mindless scrolling, especially at nighttime, it's just so bad. My attention span is next to nothing. I can't focus and it's just, it's just so bad. So I want to do a digital detox. I don't know if that should be a video because I have videos planned until like August. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I have a lot of inspiration in my brain. So we'll just have to see what happens, but yeah. My screen time has not been as high as last month, but it's also not great at all. So I want to try and lower that as much as possible. And then this next one is one that you're probably, once I say it, you're probably going to be like, why are you saying that? Because that's ungrateful. Like I said, the month of May has just been gratefulness or lack thereof. Like the whole idea of being grateful for what you have is very prevalent. With the hard drive thing, I should be grateful that I didn't have any sensitive information on there that they might need. I'm grateful that I even have the access to the internet to be able to scroll on social media and see everything that's happening in the world. Like I should be grateful for those things, but this one is making me feel very ungrateful and it's just something that I'm really trying to be better at, but I find myself literally like avoiding the subject whenever it pops up. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Based on what I said on here, it says jealousy is really getting the best of me, especially with people that I know that are traveling. 
So what I mean by this is one of my best friends, my best friend from high school, just came back from a trip to Ireland with school, which is really cool. Like, I'm really happy for her that she was able to go to Ireland with school and get school credit for it for like two weeks and do something that she's been wanting to do her whole life. Like, that's really cool. I'm really proud of her. Another one of my friends is in the Clemson choir and was able to go to Europe again. Like, she went to France and Italy, I think it was, like Rome, to do competition for choir, which is really cool. Like, I'm really, really proud of both of them but I can't help but feel jealous because I have never been outside of the U.S. that I can remember. I've been outside of the U.S. two times, once to Canada and once to Aruba and I was under six years old so I don't remember much of it at all. Like I remember the one where I went to Canada because it was a cruise with my whole family. Like I remember a little bit of that but I don't remember the Canada segment specifically. As far as the Aruba one, I was four years old and all I remember is that the fact that they were a bunch of iguanas and there was a lazy river that I loved. Like that's all that I remember. I don't even remember any of the other things that happened during those two trips. So I feel like in that sense i would never been outside of the U.S. and People that I know that are going all across the country and doing all of these really cool things with their lives, I'm just like, I'm jealous of that. Like, I want to be able to do that too. I'm trying to feel grateful for the fact that my parents have the ability to put me through out of state Clemson. I'm from North Carolina and I go to Clemson University. And if those of you who are Clemson fans know that Clemson is super expensive, and the fact that they're still able to send me to Clemson, I'm so grateful for them for that. And then there's also the fact that like one of my cousins is getting married. And so that's happening this year. We're saving up for that to go to California and do that. My younger brother has to have his wisdom teeth taken out, which is kind of an expensive surgery. There's my grandmother that had surgery. There's just a lot of big things that have happened this year. And I know that that's the main reason why we're not traveling a whole bunch this year. But a lot of me is just like a bunch of my friends are traveling everywhere. Even even if it's not out of the country like some of them are going to the beach some of them are going to like really really cool places and then I'm just stuck at home and the only place that I'm going is to visit family in the summer in the middle of Illinois I know I should feel more grateful than this <laughs> but that's just that's just how my brain has been working so that's something that I'm really trying to get better at and shift my mindset a little bit be like okay there are reasons why we're not doing any of those things that other people are doing I'm basically just rambling at this point but yeah that's probably the biggest load that I've had like Whenever my friend would post on social media being like, I'm in Ireland doing this thing, I would literally have to like swipe away because I'm like, I can't look at this person having the time of their life and feel like jealous of them. Like that's just unfair to them and to me. So I'm very avoidant with things that I don't want to talk about or like see or anything like that. Like I don't watch the news because everybody knows how the news is working these days. Things like that where I don't really want to even encounter them, I just avoid it altogether and I need to work on that. So anyways, after all that rambling, we're gonna go to the next section, which is things that I've learned this month. And the first one would be my best content could be something that I almost don't post. Like my makeup video that I posted before this one, I think it was, or a couple videos before this one at this point. I almost didn't post it because the quality wasn't up to my standard. And it ended up going basically viral on my channel. Like it's one of the top three videos that have done the best in like the time frame that it has been up. So I shouldn't stress if it's not absolutely perfect in my brain because other people might like the fact that it's in perfect or it might resonate with people more than I think it does. So I just need to not hold myself to such high a standard. This last thing in this section is to not put everything in one place, both physically, like literally and metaphorically. Basically what I'm referencing is the hard drive situation. So always have backups of your things either on some sort of like cloud storage or have it in multiple physical places in case one breaks. Just don't do what I did and have everything that you've ever worked for on one drive. <laughs> I should know that, right? But apparently I didn't and it's biting me in the butt. So don't do what I did. <laughs> Things that I want to improve on. A lot of this has to do with the whole idea of YouTube. So the first one is my YouTube video quality. I just said that something that might not be perfect to me might still get views and like go absolutely wild on social media and people might like really like it. But I also want to work on my editing techniques and figuring out my camera, really, really knowing how my camera works. So that's something that I want to work on. Another thing is I want to stay consistent with posting on other platforms. YouTube I've been really, really good at and posting consistently for the last year or so. But things like Instagram and TikTok, I completely 
deleted because it was ruining my brain. So I don't have TikTok anymore. Sorry about that guys, but I do still have my Instagram and it'll be in the description along with Lemon 8. Lemon 8 is really, really fun to work on. So that might be something that I start working on a little bit more, but I want to stay more consistent. I've been trying to post on Lemon 8 pretty consistently, like once a week-ish because it's just what I can handle. But Instagram has not gotten any posts, like feed posts in like three months. And that's not because I just don't want to, it's because I literally have no time. <laughs> so I really wanna work on my time management, which is another little subsection. Another thing that I wanna work on is not achieving burnout. So basically not pouring every single ounce of energy into one thing and then not wanting to do it. So I wanna get back into a little bit of my hobbies, things like drawing, I'm very crafty. So I love to do like arts and crafts and things like that. I wanna start doing that a little bit more. And then another thing that I wanna work on is, you know, the mind the scrolling, the social media time, things like that. And then the whole jealousy idea that I don't really want to go back into. Having lots of things happening this summer is a luxury and unfortunately I don't have that luxury this year and that's fine. I had that luxury last year and I don't get it every time so I just need to remember that. <laughs> so next up on this sort of June reset I'm going to talk about my goals that I set for May because Although I didn't go through that on camera and show you guys, I did set some goals for myself and I think I did okay on them. Some of them I didn't do great on at all, but some of them I think I did pretty good at. So I have three different categories here on my happy planner. So I'm just gonna go through them with you. The first little category we have is my social media category, not including YouTube, just like social media in general. So the first little bullet point in the social media section is to keep my screen time under six hours. That did not happen. <laughs> it's been at six hours basically, which is, I know sounds really bad but I'm gonna try and lower it a little bit more this month and see if that ends up happening I don't really know and my next one is to post on lemon eight four times a week that did not happen either <laughs> frankly because I just didn't have time to make posts but I want to like scale back on that goal a little bit see if it's actually attainable <laughs> by the way my lemonade and my Instagram are in the description if you want to follow me you should the next section is for YouTube specifically I wanted to learn Premiere Pro which is the application that I use for all of my editing stuff it's with Adobe and there was a YouTube masterclass that I saw that I thought would be interesting, but then I watched it and it was all the stuff that I already knew. So I guess that's kind of void. <laughs> I do still wanna get better at my editing though. So maybe we'll make that a goal, I don't really know. And then another goal for YouTube was my filming schedule would be more important than my upload schedule. I think I did this pretty well, I filmed pretty consistently on the weekends and then use the entire week to sort of edit the videos that I had filmed. So that's been pretty good so far. We'll see if it ends up keeping up, but it's been good. I think I've achieved that pretty well. And then this last section is like a personal life section. So the first one is to see my old roommate at least three times. She did, She's doing her internship, like I talked about earlier in this video, I'm pretty sure, here in my hometown. So I have seen her actually three times this month. We achieved that one. Go on a walk once a week. I have not really done this, and I really, really should because my exercise has been lacking lately, but I've also just not had time. So that's one that I didn't really do very well at. And then another one is do more crafting. I haven't really done a whole lot of this either, but I've been able to really find my motivation and inspiration again for the channel and for YouTube. So I would say that's like task failed successfully. <laughs> and then this last one is to spend less than $100. And I actually did that. So those are like the big categories of things. And the most important things that I had on this sort of goal setting habit chart was to achieve 430 subscribers, which we know we achieved. So that's really cool. The spending one, I ended up doing that too. The seeing my roommate one, that we did too. And then finding inspo, inspiration for YouTube again. I was really in a rut for a long time on what to post. And I think I finally figured out a groove. So we achieved all of my like top four priority goals for the month. So let's go ahead and set some new ones based on what we ended up doing here. Now we're going to talk about my June goals. So the first one is that I don't wanna spend more than $200 on things that aren't necessities. So things like gas and stuff, obviously I'm not going to add to this, but things like semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works, like I don't wanna be spending a whole bunch on that. I want to be able to save my money and put it into a savings account, which is my next bullet point here. I want to be able to open a savings account this month. It's been a goal for a couple months now, but I think this month is going to be the one where I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a little bit of my paycheck every week into this account and watch it do its thing. I really need to open one of those because I'm 21 now. So 
savings are good for when you're moving out and need a big girl job. I also want to see a couple of my friends at least three times this month. One of my friends is going on like a month long trip. So I wanna see her before she leaves at least a couple times. And then my roommate that I talked about earlier where she's doing her internship here in my hometown, I wanna be able to see her at least once a week. So hopefully that happens. As far as things like content creation goes, I have a whole subsection in my goals list because there's kind of a few of these things on here, but it's all statistics. So the first one is to get to 470 subscribers on YouTube. Right now, I think I'm about 456. Let me check it real fast. I got like three subscribers today, 456. So that's cool. I also want to post eight videos on YouTube, which is like twice a week and hopefully get at least 300 views on them. So that's might be a little bit unattainable, but at the same time, a bunch of my videos have been hitting that mark so far. So you never really know. And then I also want to be able to post once a week on Instagram and twice a week on Lemonade. So those are sort of smaller goals that I'm not super prioritizing this month, but it'd be cool if it happened. So those are my overarching monthly goals. As far as my habits go, this is something that I want to implement into my daily routine instead of just working towards them in a month. So the first one is to drink one water bottle every day. I have one of those Stanleys. So I don't have a Stanley cup specifically, but it's like Stanley-esque. It holds the same amount of water in them. So I wanna be able to drink at least one of those a day. I also want to meditate every day. So I've noticed my anxiety is getting a little bit high now that I've moved back home to my hometown. So hopefully meditation will help with that a little bit. And then I also want to reduce my doom scrolling at night by watching YouTube instead. I'm not a reader. I would love to be like a book reader, but I'm just not. And so I feel like YouTube is a great way to at least make my brain wind down and focus on one thing without being like bored, if that makes sense. And I'm able to sort of control what I'm watching instead of just scrolling and scrolling and not really knowing what's gonna come up next. So YouTube is going to be something that I really wanna watch. I have like 48 videos in my watch later playlist. So we need to wind that down a little bit. So yeah, that was my goals and habits for the month of June. To finish up this this June reset. I'm going to add things into the June month on my happy planner here. I'm going to be using a whole bunch of stickers and color coding things. It's going to be a very blue theme because the stickers in here are really cute and I've kind of been saving them. I'm one of those people that like needs a special place for a sticker and I just don't use it and then I end up regretting it and being like I have so many stickers but nowhere to put them. So <laughs> I'm going to make it a little bit more fun. We're going to do some creative stuff with these stickers and the color coding and things. I already have some things in here on the June page especially, especially in the back. This is all of the assignments that I have to do for my mini master for school. I'm taking a class that's lasting six weeks and I'm already halfway through it. <laughs> so all of my summer stuff is on here already. If you haven't seen it yet, there was a summer reset vlog. I'll have it up in the cards and description where I basically went through all of the semester prep for the summer semester, but I'm gonna go through and put some personal information and things that are happening in my personal life in here. Make it really cute and pretty, and then also do my coming week for my planner. So I'm gonna time lapse you through that, and then I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like at the end.
So this is what the month is looking like so far. I thought I would have more to put on here, but I think a lot of the stuff is happening in July and I don't have access to July in this planner. So we're probably just not gonna worry about it. It starts down here though. So I have something that's happening on July 1st, but everything else I basically just sort of embellished, put some little stickers on and stuff. And then on the weekly side, you have a lot of stickers and pre-planning like blank stickers for when I make lists and stuff. So that is what the planner looks like. So that's it for this June reset vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please like it. I would really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!